Hi guys, Shengyu here, the Kedah Matriculation College graduate, which actually posted a video a few weeks back and went on hiatus until now. But yeah, I'm back now. But uh, this video would be different from the past one, and it will be more of my personal feelings and my advices for aspiring medical students. And uh, right over here, I would like to show you the reaction to my UP results. So, without further delay, let's get into it. One more minute, Mary! One more minute! One more minute! One more minute. <gasps> I'm like just refreshing the dick now. <笑>我也是。<笑> Okay, so they are. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, after looking through a reaction video, you'll definitely be like, whoa, this person got into the medical school that he wanted. It is his first choice, yes. UM is my first choice and MBBS is the course that I wanted to get into as well. And I would say that it is not easy for me to get into this course as there were a lot of background work that I had to put in from, I would say, starting all the way from matriculation and SPM. I had to try my best to score good results for SPM. Then I had to take care of my MUET score. I have to go for BMAT. I have to get 4 flat for metrics. And as well as I had to get 10 marks for core curriculum as well. And is the interview. Definitely, my thoughts about this is that, yeah, I could give myself a pat on the back as I actually went through the vigorous process of applying to one of the most prestigious universities and I actually got in. And yeah, I am genuinely happy for myself, I would say that. But there are some things that I've learned from this whole process as well. And I would like to share it with those who would be applying for UPU for next year, as well as my other friends as well so yeah to my friends there are some things that i want to tell you all no matter if you got your up uh, you got your you got good results for upu or you didn't get the desired results for upu so the one thing that i would like to say is that always have a backup plan for yourself and i would like to tell you a story actually because before i got my up uh, UP results right the day before I actually received an email in my inbox which told me that my application is processed since I applied for direct intake which I had an interview uh, during the day of the UP results in the morning I actually was confused and I went into the website to check and suddenly another uh, part popped up in my admissions uh page which said that oh bachelor of medicine and bachelor of surgery and the decision was the decision was full of her so during that time like because i I've, I've never seen uh, this full offer word before it actually means that my application is successful and i asked around and they said yeah you already got the course that you wanted in the university you wanted I was actually really confused at the time and I would say that that reaction video was just a confirmation that I got into medicine in UM and yeah during the time like 
I thought, oh, should I not go for the interview and things like that since I already got it, right? But during the time after, like, thorough thinking and everything, that I've decided to go for it as a backup. And this is why I say that no matter how confident you are in something, there is always a possibility that some things do not go your way. And although like I felt like, oh, I've did well, I've prepared well, I've done my best for matriculation, like, oh, I'm definitely getting into one of the courses that I put into UPU. And I actually went for all four interviews as well. But although like I have the security, I, I have the factors to let me feel secure, like I would say that no matter what, always have a backup. And that is why, although I've already known that I've got into UL's medicine, I still went for the interview. And I mean like there's nothing for me to lose. When I went to the interview, that's just one thing. I gained my experience. I've get to uh, I've gotten to meet like more people as well. And yeah, overall it was quite a nice experience. And at the afternoon at 12 o'clock, we went to Starbucks as you can see and we opened our results together with my friends. And yeah, to those out there who didn't get your results, uh, the results that you want, or the future juniors who will be applying for medicine as well, do not feel disheartened when you did not get the course you wanted. Because it actually, the UPU system, right, they had, you had to put a minimum of six choices. And the reason is, there is a possibility that you will not get the choices that you wanted like in front like one to five maybe you won't get it they'll get the sixth choice and i don't think like it completely means that you're not fit for that position or you're not fit into that course it is more of sometimes they just don't have place to offer you and do not let that like beat you down do not let that dishearten you and make you feel that oh i'm not good enough yeah because sometimes like like i've known people who's got really really good results i've known people that actually did well for their interview but didn't get in and sometimes i feel that even if you don't get in it does not mean that you're not good enough but always have something in your mind which is prepare for the worst and when you prepare for the worst and you don't get the things that you uh, didn't get, at least you won't feel too sad and you won't feel too anxious because you've already know, uh, like you've already planned out what to do for the worst. Okay, so for aspiring medical students who are actually thinking of applying to University Malaya, especially the MBBS course, I'd like to tell you some things that you have to pay attention to. So in order to get into University Malaya, there's actually a few factors that you have to factor in. It starts from your SPM, your COCO marks during high school, then you go to your MUET results, you go to your BMAT results, then you would uh, go to the next thing which is your matriculation results, then uh, matriculation STPM or any like pre-university programs then you have your COCO marks for your pre-university program and your interview okay so these seven things you have to pay attention to and I would say that even having one of them as a disadvantage would actually put you at risk for not getting the course and this is why I felt very lucky and also happy that I got in because it shows that how much you have gone through and in this case that I would say for future aspiring medical students who wants to apply for MBBS please try your best during SPM and score as high as possible second thing is try to join more competitions during high school as well get high cocoa marks joint organizations and things like that. Third, your muet. Study properly, read properly, <laughs> just try your best to score like band five and above. 
the next thing is your matriculation uh your bmat but uh if i'm not wrong bmat will be abolished after uh, for the next year so yeah if you have another entrance exam try to score as high as possible and if you already know what it is start preparing now like early preparation is always one of the best things that you can do next thing matriculation i know that you all haven't uh started pspm1 but try your best to score full marks for most of the things and in that case do not leave any disadvantages for yourselves and if you do that like i'm afraid that when you didn't get the course you wanted there's this one thing is that you would actually like reprimand yourself or feel that you did not do well enough okay the next thing will be your coco marks in in your i would say your coco marks in your matriculation as well try to score full as well go for as many competitions as possible join as many organizations as possible gain experience that is the most exp the most important thing and the last one will be the interview and as you can see the interview is the last thing and the reason is all the six things that i've said before it is also taken account in your interview all the experiences you gained all the feelings that you felt and i would and all the problems that you have faced they are all factored in your interview and the interviewers will know if you're actually fit for medicine or not so yeah always try your best starting from spm and that will lead to the last point which is your interview and yeah if you all are seeking for guidance for interview or seeking for guidance from seniors we actually i'm actually in an organization called mmi young medics which we will have programs to help train all of you for interviews and also assign mentors to help you all and i mean if you are interested yeah do join our college ambassador uh, and we are actually opening for recruitment soon so yeah do pay attention to our instagram page which i will be attaching below in the description and yeah starting from now try your best and i hope that one day you all could get into the course that you've wanted without any regrets and for those who didn't get into the course that they wanted my heart really goes out to all of you and if you all need like alternative pathways i could suggest some people or probably uh, give some advice myself <laughs> from direct intake to private institutions and also various ways that i've known from my seniors yeah and i'm willing to share so yeah for those who didn't get the results that you want do cool down a little bit go out for a drink go out with your friends have fun first forget about the bad things and at the end of the day when your mind is clear come back and think about the things that you can do and i'm sure that everything will get through and yeah do your best try your best and i believe that one day you can get the course that you uh you've wanted you wish for as well as the university that you have dread to get so yeah that is all from me for this video it is very short very impromptu video with me talking about my feelings and also the advices that i want to give to the people to aspiring medical students as well as my friends so yeah good luck and all the best and i hope that you all will find yourselves and also get through the hardships that all of you are facing right now thank you